Hey guys, I'm back. I'm pretty sure you guys didn't even notice I was gone. Um, I didn't post a video last week just because, I mean, I have a video. I didn't get a chance to edit it. Uh, and I'm playing with this thingy right now. But, um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to edit it, so I didn't, it didn't go up. And, um, I, by the time I did edit it, it was like, I think it was like Thursday or Friday. And I was just like, I'm not going to post it. Plus, I didn't really like it, so that's that. Um, but... In that video, I did show you some really cool things that I got and I was excited about and it just, things happen and I was no longer excited. But I will show you right now because why not? I got these things. Let me see if I can pick them all up on this thingy. I got like these super like fun, colorful, neon, uh, I'm going to try to pick them all up all at once. Hopefully they don't fall. Um, like this. So, I mean, you can't really see them. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, I got these loose pigment eyeshadows and on Amazon. And I think they're like $14 or something like that. But I think I got it cheaper because of my Amazon Prime thingy. I had rewards. So, I was just like, purchase, purchase, purchase. Um, I got a lot of things, too, that I am not going to show you in this video. But, like, this is the main thing I was excited for as well as this I got this um face paint thingy it's super greasy it's like oily and stuff I don't like it but um I love the colors and I'm excited to play with this and yeah and that's gonna be like for Halloween stuff so I'm excited that's those are the two things that I buy that I was excited about uh, from Amazon purchase but um today I'm also recording this video it's Monday and I normally post on Tuesday so I will try to edit this video and post it on Tuesday so if you see it tomorrow like I tried my best and I probably didn't go to sleep but um I got a package from Mellow and if you don't know what Mellow is it's a vegan cruelty free beauty brand I'm pretty sure there are a lot more things but you know so I did they did reach out to me or someone reached out to me on Instagram telling me to message them and then I was like I don't really believe in that stuff because honestly I got scanned once and that was just rude but um I don't really trust those things especially like I will do mad research like I you message me saying like hey like you know something about discount code blah 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 whatever I will search your name up anywhere I can and freaking review your reviews and your comments and your likes and your photos and all this other stuff but this brand seemed legit so i messaged them first and then i was just like hey someone told me to like reach out to you blah blah, blah. and then they actually replied back and i was shocked i was like whoa okay maybe it's legit you know who knows i still didn't really trust it but i was like whatever i'm gonna try it anyway they did give me an affiliated code or link to their website which i will probably link in the description below just because I did receive the package, so I was really excited. <laughs> um, but this is... Oh, I haven't opened... I opened this. But this is their package. I took off my address because, you know, stalkers, ew. Um, but this is their package. And then these are their things. These are the things that I bought. Um, they had gave me, like, a discount code. And I just went crazy on their website. But um, I didn't want to buy too many things because I was scared it was going to be a scam. But, um, yeah, I got things. And I forgot what I got so i'm gonna open them with you and i'm excited i also have my ipsy bag that i'm gonna open and we're just gonna do something with it because why not also i already have this bag ipsy it's not we got this like in freaking i don't know but this is my june bag um i guess there was a delay because of covid and they sent my bag today not today it was like three days ago whatever but i haven't opened it so we're gonna open all this fun stuff and mellow has some little cute like packaging like look at that it's got bubble wrap and everything very cute i love it it's like simple it's pink it's cute and this is oh look at this she's oh you can see my background she is very bright and gold and rose gold and oh okay packaging is cute I guess this is a review because I've never heard of this brand. I, I think I've seen it like on CVS or Target or something like that, but um, yeah. I got this. What is this? What is this? 
Stardust Glow Palette. <laughs> oh, it's like a like a highlighter and a bronzer with a blush. These two are shimmer shades. I'm gonna swatch them. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Well, that was Star, and I'm gonna do Luna. Oh, so pretty. This is the blush. I don't know why I'm gonna swatch blush, but I'm gonna swatch blush. Oh, that's pretty. And then this is the the contour bronzer thing. I don't know. Ta-da! Oh, that's actually really wow. They're very smooth. I like it. Oh, I love it. I love this packaging though. This is everything. <sighs> okay, and that's that. And then I also got this uh, eyeshadow palette, I think. Again, bubble wrap. Safety first. I love their sticker. Um, well, I'll put this on my here. Um, this is a Sinopia palette. Looks like this. I can't open it. I struggles. How do you how do you do this? Oh. Oh. Wow, look it's so cute. It's simple. I like it. Oh, oh. And it has this little protector thing. Oh wow. Look at those colors. You just saw my background. Look at those colors. I love this blue. Let's swatch it. Let's swatch the blue. It's called Blue Moon. I love it already. Oh, she's cute. Let's do. My nose is itchy. Um, let's do Current, which is like a very. Oh wow. Oh, they're smooth. Oh, okay. I think I'm gonna put that blue on my eye though. So that's cute. I, there was another thing in here. I think this is a lipstick. Yep, the liquid or the matte liquid lip paint. Oh, lip paint. And this is a packaging, which I think I just dirtied with the blue eyeshadow. Come on now. Oh, I have butterfingers. Uh, I didn't want to focus, so. Oh, this is cute. It does smell like anything. It smells like... Kind of like Play-Doh, I guess. I don't know. So it's really dark. That's the color right there. We will see if it turns matte or not. But yeah, that's what I got. From Melo. I love it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Um, I will put that on my face shortly i will do a makeup look with it on my ipsy bag because i'm excited for this too i love opening things um i got this daisy plus pearl natural radiance booster this thingy this and it is vegan gluten free gmo free what is it though I mean, I know what it what it says, but ooh, is it a highlighter? Natural Radiance Booster. I would think it's a highlighter. I don't know. I think so. It's maybe a little too dark for me, but we could use it as an eye. Whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa, that's trippy. Wait, where do I swatch this? <laughs> Pull down the sleeve. Oh wow, that's cute. Look at that. Ugh. Can you see it? Does it focus? Okay, it's pretty. I love it. I also got this Girl Power by Auto Bomb. The Bomb. Uh, what is this? Blush? I think it's a blush. A blush i'm gonna use it as a blush i think it's a blush it doesn't say does it i'm probably i'm just blind oh yeah it's a blush because it says cheeks on the go i like it because it's a mini travel package thingy where did it oh and then i got this pore tightening clay mask um it's actually like it's a pretty
pretty decent size. And I got um hydrating mask. Ooh, they want my skin to look nice. And I got a Kat Von D tattoo liner. Ooh. I've always wanted to own one of these, but I never bought one. I used to love Kat Von D. It's a really nice black eyeliner. Is it smear proof though? Oh, that's disappointing. It literally just faded away when I swiped it. Let's try another one. We'll let that one dry and then we'll do that again because I love my eyeliner to stay on all day, okay? Uh, so I've been talking too much, so we're just gonna get started. Yes, I know guys, plastic straws, ew. But Wendy's gave it to me, so. Oh, I had brushes there and I just got wet. That's a sign I need to wash them. Um, I will do my base and then I'll be back, I guess. Or should I start my eyeshadow first? I'll do my eyeshadow first. I don't know if these have fallout or anything like that. Um, dun, 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 dun. I just came back from work also and I'm tired, but, um, we're just gonna do this. What am I looking for? Oh yeah, concealer. Um, the concealer. I'm gonna be using my Jeffree Star mirror because it's the only mirror I own. So I'm just priming my eyelids. I'm just putting concealer all over my eyelids and getting my sponge and then smearing it out. Alrighty then. Now that we got that done, um, we're gonna go into here and see what we dip into. Gonna grab a fluffy brush. This is a JS8, which is a fluffy brush. And I'm gonna dip into Nude. Nude, actually. It's, it's Nude. Which is this like brown, light brown shade. My nose is itchy, bro. And I'm just gonna start packing this on and blending it out okay it's kind of like a very orangey brown kind of tone so i didn't really mean to put that all over my eyelid but that just happened so i'm just gonna blend it out Using back and forth motions. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, now I'm going to go into a different brush. <gasps> oh, excuse me. This is the M433 brush. It looks dirty. It's not dirty. It is dirty, but it's not dirty. <laughs> I'm going into blush, which is just like a darker brown shade. Oh. It does have a lot of um, kickback on the palette. I don't mind it. Some people do, I guess. And I'm just going to put that all over my crease, right over that shade I just applied. And then gently just blend it in there. Again, just back and forth motions. Gonna drag it out a little bit over here, just kind of flick it out a bit. I don't like when I do my eye shape just like this because I feel like it makes my um, eyelids look a little bit hooded or something. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I like my makeup to be dramatic. And then I love when I like do my makeup and I flick it out over here. I feel like it like drags it out. So I have a really round fat face so just... I feel like it makes me look good, okay? Uh, did you guys hear that they're banning TikTok? Like, why? And somebody in the comments tell me, like, why they're doing that? Like, I mean, I don't get nothing off of it, but I'm just saying, like, TikTok's fun. It, like, it made quarantine a lot better. Um, 
it more entertaining, I mean. Now I'm going into a different brush. This is the JS9. And I'm going into Merlot, which is like a dark, like a chocolate brown. And then I'm putting that just in the crease. And then this is like a tapered fluffy brush. So it's like perfect to just like stick that color only there where you want it. And lightly just also both it out to that little cat eye. You see what I'm doing there? I'm going to top, top off the excess and then just blend it in there. Ooh, so these shades definitely have pigment. The pigment's definitely there. I actually love it, okay? I'm not hating this at all. I'm grabbing a brush with no product on it this is the morphe m330 brush it's just a really fluffy brush and i'm just simply gonna buff out that entire eyeshadow so it's blended out nicely love that like airbrush finish you know And then, um, I did get some, like, over here. We'll wipe that off right now. And then, uh, so I'm gonna grab that blue. Oh, my nose is super itchy. I'm gonna grab that blue with the flat brush. This is actually the brush that came with the, um, the, 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 the face paint thingy. This is just a flat brush. And I'm going to grab that Blue Moon. Which doesn't probably go with this brown. But we're still going to put it on there. Ooh, okay. And I'm just going to put this all over my eyelid. So I'm going to grab my setting spray now, and then I'm going to go dip into Blue Moon. And then spray my brush. And I'm just going to go over that with the wet brush. Wow, so I did that. It's like a blue blue eyeliner. There's kickback fallout on the pan itself. Um I don't mind it. I mean look at like it's a looking really nice, so I don't mind it. As long as the eyeshadows work, I'm okay with any fallout, any kickback, any anything. So if the eyeshadow didn't work and it's like patchy and not there, then I'd be like, girl. What is you doing? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and then do the rest of my face and then I will be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and I gotta tell you guys, I love this palette. I love this brand actually. I never heard of you. I'm sorry. I don't know where you've been on my life, but I love it. I love you. I love this palette. And yeah, that's that's what I really have to say about this. <laughs> um, I went ahead and finished my other eye off camera and did the rest of my face just because I wanted this to be quick because I know I've been talking so much and you're just probably like, God damn, you're so annoying. Um, <laughs> but um, 
yeah, I have the lipstick on. I really love this lipstick. It's really matte. Um, it does, it's kind of sticky. I would, I would have to say that. Like, it just feels, but it doesn't feel as heavy as when you wear, like, an actual, like, matte lipstick and it kind of, like, dries up your, your lips and stuff. It doesn't feel like that. It, it feels like, um, like, it's very lightweight and I like it. Because normally, like, when I put on matte lipstick, I feel like my, they freaking suck the hydration out of my lips. Like, and I don't like that. I love matte lipsticks, but I usually put, like, for lip gloss all over it because I hate when it does that or I make sure to um put a bunch of chapstick before I put it on just for that very same reason but this didn't I actually didn't put any chapstick or anything like that um because I want to see what it felt like um and it I like it it's nice and it doesn't even crack or anything it doesn't look well it does look matte I'll say it doesn't look too matte but it, it kind of does um yeah it's cute I like it this is a shade I didn't I don't think I told you guys a shade name I'm glad I didn't. I don't know how to say that. This is Oakland. Oakland. I'll type it right here somewhere because I'm terrible at pronouncing things. If you haven't noticed, um, this this um, contour bronzer palette highlighter thing i love it first of all can i think this is big okay i have a big head and this is this is the same size as my head almost so it's pretty good it's, i like it you get a lot of um honestly i don't remember how much these things actually cost um but i think i know for sure this eyeshadow palette was 32 dollars on their website so but i mean super nice super like they blend out so nicely and they're very pigmented for sure they do have some fallout like on the pan especially this one when i was like digging it on with my brush and stuff but i mean it works like look at look at that blue like it's so pretty and then i in my brow bone i have a uh, champagne which is this one right here and it's so pretty i also have it in my inner corner as well and then on the bottom i have this one which is a brick, which is an orange, and I just wanted to do like a different color on the bottom, and yeah, and then, okay, so back to this one though, I don't know, maybe I like I am too white for this shade right here, but this shade went on, okay, I put it on, so as you can see, like there's still like a very dark mark right here, but when I first put it on, nothing was like dark, and I was just like, ugh. And I was kind of getting scared, but it blended out super nicely. It did leave, like, just because I, when I kind of went in there just like that, um, not expecting it to be, like, super pigmented, I guess. So then I went in with my sponge, and I kind of just, like, dabbed it out. But then I learned on this side, so this side's a little bit more nicer, nicely blended and stuff. And the blush, I kind of just did a little bit because I was scared it would be, like, so much. And then I would look like a clown. But um, I very, like... I really love it. It blended out super nicely. I'm also using both of the highlighters that are in this palette on my cheekbones. Um, you can barely see it, but it's it's very it's there. And um, yeah, that's the finished look, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I did the white eyeliner, like white well, what English, please. I did the white eyeliner different than I I normally ever do it. I never done this. I did like a full on like white eyeliner all the way and then I broke it down right here just because I thought it would look cool. I don't really know if it does. I mean I like it but I don't know but, but yeah that's I did that and I love it and yeah so I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay safe and I will see you guys again next week for sure for sure. Uh, please like and subscribe if you like, and um, I will see you guys every week. Bye. Oh, I also have an Instagram where you can go follow me that I leave on the description below if you'd like. Bye.